Yeah. Hey guys, questions for James. Give us an idea of uh, what this draft scene has been for you. Like for you had a, made some noise at the All-Star game and had a great combine. What's it been like for you? This has been a blessing, man. I had this opportunity to go through the draft process. I mean, I had an older brother go through it, so he's been giving me tips here and now. But, I mean, it's a blessing, man. I mean, you dream of this when you're a little kid. You dream of going to the combine. You dream of coming back and coming to Pro Day. I mean, watching guys like Lasko, Golf, all these guys who've been coming through here. I mean, Chris Harper, everybody, man. Because, you know, Cal, man. Cal produces pretty good, good talent. So, I mean, it's just a blessing to be a part of this. And, and just thank God. After the combine, did you feel like you needed to do a ton today? Or were you able to pick and choose kind of what, what you wanted to? Yeah, I mean, I just came out here and did position work. I feel like the combine I did, I did well with, like, my numbers and stuff. I mean, I was thinking about doing the vertical and um, doing um, the L cone and um, 20, I mean, 20 yard shuttle again, but just because you know, after the combine, we actually ran our 41st and did position work, and then by the time you get to the drills, your legs are a little dead. But my number was pretty well, so I just my, I decided with my agent just to stick with him. What, what do you remember about your, your brother going through the draft process? So, my brother actually um, went to the senior bowl and got hurt. So, I mean, he told me about the combine, it was going to be a long week going through like the medical examinations and stuff like that. But he told me to enjoy it, man. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, going to the combine was a blessing. I mean, you get, get all this gear from you know, Nike, Under Armour, man, Adidas. It's like you go in, it's like you shop for anything you want. It's amazing, man. It's a great opportunity. I mean, I'm just blessed, man. I got to thank God. No, uh, man, just thank my family for providing for me to get to this point. What was the strangest question you got asked at the combine? You know, I ain't really asked no strange questions. I mean, it's just asked about my brother and stuff. I don't really have no crazy background or anything like that, so. I mean, I got, yeah, yeah, I know. They, they ain't asked me about my hair, though. It's pretty much just football questions, so. I mean, I ain't really get, get nothing crazy like the rest of those guys. What kind of feedback are you getting? It, it, it sounds like uh, you've made made a jump maybe in where the projections were to now. What kind of feedback are you getting on that? I mean, to be honest with you, I ain't heard too much about it. I mean, the draft's a draft. I'll get picked where I get picked. I'm not really worried about that. As long as I get my opportunity, I know I'll be able to prove myself, man. So, I mean, as of that, man, I know I put up good numbers. I was proud of that. So, I mean, numbers speak for themselves. and. Hopefully, help me out. How do you feel you did today in those agility drills? I feel like I did good. I mean, I warmed up a little early. I mean, it was a little cold out here. I mean, the 40 took a little longer than I expected, but I, mean, I did good. I was glad I got to go first and you know, just stay warm. But I, mean, I feel like I did good, man. Hips were moving a little well, and I mean, it was a, it was a good day. I mean, it was a blessing. I was ready and prepared for this my whole life, so I mean, it's just a blessing. Thank God. Did you come out and watch the previous pro days when Goff was out here in those oh, days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was out here in the pouring rain watching those guys, man. I just, I mean, I had to. I mean, because, like, mm -hmm. you know, you work out with those guys. You mean, you see them go through their dream, and you just want to feel the energy around it because it's great, man. You know, you see a guy pursuing their dream they've been working for their whole life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's amazing. Does it always rain on Cal Pro Day? You know, it's been raining for the last couple of days, man. You know, the Bay Area, you really don't need no indoors around here, too. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just been unfortunate for the last couple of days. I mean, I last couple of pro days. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the feedback been like for you as far as finding a position for you at the next level? I, mean, I feel like I could play any position at the next level. I mean, if they wanted me to lose weight, lose low weight, play outside linebacker, I feel like that's my key is my athleticism. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could play five technique, three technique, shade, four, four eye, whatever, three, four defense. I feel like I showed myself this year. I played a three, four, put up pretty good production mm -hmm. for my first year here with a new coaching staff. So I, mean, I feel very confident in my abilities. I mean, going to the combine too, I feel like it showed that I'm an athletic guy. So. You guys were so I'm sorry. You guys were so shaky on defense for a couple of years at Cal. And then all, all of a sudden this year, you guys did some good things. What did that do for you to have to be on a good, you know, a defense that can hold its own? I mean, it helped. It helped me a lot, man. It gave me a lot of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, having the guys that we had. I mean, we had a great coaching staff. I think I always say it, Coach Jerry Azanero is one of the best guys to coach me up, man. I mean, he taught me little key things about football. But I mean, I had great, great coaching staffs too. And I mean, I think our our defense was a little underrated when we went eight and five when we had golf. Man, I think yeah. our defense played pretty well. I mean, you look at a Utah game. When I mean, we had like six turnovers and we kept us in the game. So I mean, I've been around some good guys, man. I'm not gonna say anything. There's a couple of those guys still in the NFL right now, like Stephen Clair. Like I mean, you got a lot of guys I play with on defense that are, I mean been doing well. I mean, Hardy Nickerson. I mean, I just, I mean, this year was a good year. It was relieving. I mean, it was good too to just play in a defense where you get a lot of freedom. But I mean, I played in defenses that I like well too. And I mean, me playing the three technique, I think benefited me a lot. You know, those defenses. So I feel like I could do it all. The violence you show in the position drills is, is obvious. What goes through your head right before you get to show that first? I mean, I've always been violent, man. Growing up, my dad, man, you know what I'm saying? He always said, loony, cuckoo, you know, crazy. So, I mean, when they come out here in the football field, man, I feel like I get to relieve that, go through it, man. And um, 
just like I said, it's been a dream my whole life, man. My dad always told me, go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So, man, I've been living by that motto when I come out here. Just have fun, man. Just enjoy the, enjoy the stage. Where will you Where will you watch the draft from? And how, you, how will you handle it? I'll be with my family, man. Probably go down to my um, brother's house in Dallas. Uh -huh. Yeah, go down there, you know, cook it up, man. Enjoy mm -hmm. some food. It's been it's been tough dieting, you know, these the past couple months, man. <laughs> just ready to go ahead and eat, relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, just enjoy it, the fam, man. I think it's just a great opportunity being with the family and enjoying the moment, just talking about old times, man, living the memories. So, have you cut weight since the process process started? I actually gained a little weight. Okay, yeah, I was a pretty light this season. I was like 277, but I mean, I busted my hamstring before the year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I anticipated I was going to come in the season light, but I mean, I, I feel good right now. I mean, I weighed in at 289 a day, and I feel real good. I feel like I can pass rush, run. I mean, run stop. I mean, whatever they need me to do, I feel like I can do. I feel like I'm a three down guy. Luke Beckett said the other day that he, you had sort of given him some advice in terms of, hey, you know, you got to take care of your body. You mm -hmm. really realized that oh, yeah. this season. What what triggered that for you? Like, hey, I, I, I got to take care of my body a little bit more. I mean, you know, just I think the hamstring injury did. I mean, um, I mean before that, you know, I, I come out here and just, just jump around, not really warm up and be fine. I, mean, I had that young, a young guy body. But, you know, after my hamstring, I just realized, man, that you just got to take care of your muscles because, I mean, I was probably as big as I ever was when I hurt my hamstring, and I just – stretch them too much but I mean I was just telling them the key thing especially the way coach Beck is like training these guys he's teaching them to run and I mean when you're running at top speed you gotta you gotta make sure your mechanics are there and you gotta make sure the recovery is there too because if it's not man you can you can pull stuff and I mean you see it at the combine too man how guys pull things that's unfortunate too because when you're running full speed stuff like that can happen but man just taking care of your body is a key thing I mean you look at it in the NFL too like a lot of guys don't make it the amount of years that they want to play because just because of injury. And I mean, I was actually, um, Jordan Kanashik put me on Tom Brady's book a little bit. And I mean, I've been looking through that a little bit, man, about nutrition. I mean, he really, he, he really got it going, man. And Jordan always giving me little advice here and there. And I mean, Kyle Cragen was another dude who was here who finally got me dieting when I came in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just blessed to have guys like that. When did you pull your hammy? I pulled my hamstring in February. I had surgery in February. Oh, wow. I mean, February how, last year. How big were you at that point? I mean, I was pretty big. I was like 290 pounds, but I was like 15% body fat. I was like, I was pretty yoked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all good. Okay. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yes, sir.